And he's got a little brown jacket like that. Oh, I'm excited now, you guys. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another Sims Forecast Monday. Now, first of all, thank you so much for the support. On the Harry Potter video, I had a lot of fun making that. I'll show you guys now, I'm a big Harry Potter fan, so it was very, very cool getting to make them in Sims. I asked you guys what I should do next, and a lot of you have said in both videos that you want to see Stranger Things made in Sims. Now, I'm a huge Stranger fan. A Stranger fan? I'm a huge Stranger fan. I am a very nice fan. I'm a huge fan of Stranger Things. I absolutely love it. Ali and I, we didn't watch season two straight away because we were watching Sons of Anarchy. So we finished Sons of Anarchy and watched Stranger Things season two. And it is just as epic as Stranger Things season one. It is like some of the best, best TV you can possibly watch. If you haven't watched it already, I would recommend you do so. And there's so many characters to pick from, but as you guys have probably worked out by now, the amount of time it takes me, it probably takes me like over two hours to make these videos. I like to cut to three characters. So the three characters I'm gonna be making are, that's my desk drum roll. So we are gonna be making, of course, Eleven or Jane Hopper. I'm gonna make like original Eleven, not the new whole bitch. Eleven. <laughs> I'm also gonna be making the person who's probably my favorite character, Mike Wheeler. I love him just because he's such a nice kid. Like he just cares about his friends and he's a nice kid. I like him a lot. And then also we're gonna be trying to make fun favorite Dustin. I actually don't know if the teeth are available for him in this game, but we're gonna give it a go. So I made the decision uh, to make these as kids rather than teens. To me, they are just more kid-like than they are teen-like which is going to make things so much harder because I've been desperately searching for CC that's, that could work for the outfits they wear. There's loads for teens and above. There's even loads for toddlers. There's nothing for kids. So it is going to be pretty hard. But I, to me, that is the age that they are. That is literally the age that they are. So we will start with Eleven. So I was going to say Eleven, but I think I'll call her Jane Hopper, which is kind of what she's known as in season two. But still, she is Jane Hopper or Eleven. There we go. Uh, and I'm not going to bother with the traits and stuff yet. We're just going to focus on this little googie egg herself. So let's just get everything off because I find it a little bit easier when she strip everything off them. That sounds kind of weird, but I just mean like you can kind of start from afresh and go from new. Which is exactly what I want to be doing with this little cutie pie. So, let's get some pictures of Jane Hopper or Eleven up at the side. I was searching for like pictures of them to use as a guide. And it's actually kind of tricky. The, the show is very dark. Like the show is very dark because it's quite difficult to get pictures of the faces. But we're going to give it a go. The best one I can find of a face is her with the whole like creepy head thing on. But that's what we're going to be using as a guide. Now, I think she is such a fantastic little actress. Like she is an amazing little actress. I have a lot of time for the girl that plays her. She's actually got kind of like quite big eyes, hasn't she? Like I guess as most kids do. I'm kind of thinking that eye shape there is probably going to be best. It's given me a kid that's, to be honest, not a million miles away. Head is probably a little bit narrower though, I would say. Bit of a longer chin. You can tell the girl that plays her is uh, is going to be like super pretty when she gets older. Oh, she's super pretty now. She is going to be a definitely a bonnie girl. I need to see her side profile. Man, she's such a cool kid. Like she's already such a cool kid. She's got quite a flat... I find it hard to make a flat forehead on Sims. I don't really think there's like a flat forehead option, but I kind of feel like if you get the uh, the side profile right, it helps with the rest of things. So it's a good place to start. Say these kids have been photographed like so much. I'm struggling to find actual ones that are helpful for what I'm trying to do here. I think we're getting along the right lines. I think we are. Let's uh, let's go ahead and give her like her actual eyebrows. I like that in a lot of the shots, she's kind of... The thing is nosebleed as well. There's a no nosebleed that you can put on adult sims, but you can't put it on child sims, which is super annoying. I'm saying that I'm actually going to go ahead and just make her nose right too, because I think her nostrils are higher than the tips of her nose. And I think she's got a little bit of a bulbous nose at the end. She's got like a cute kid's nose basically she's a cute kid that's why okay i think that is kind of how her side profile looks i think we've got that bit right i think i've got like a little slightly bulbousy nose bit right as well i think we're along the right lines see in a lot of the promo shots she's actually got like angry eyebrows because she's like you know doing the whole blood thing so i think i'm gonna kind of i know she's sometimes innocent and sometimes not so innocent looking i like it when she's kind of like you know, she's looking for her egos and she's looking kind of mad. Just need to find some eyebrows that go now. Definitely none of these. <laughs> okay, I think we're 
the, I need to like figure out the thing that is gonna make her look like her because right now I'm not sure what it is. I've gone for like my favorite eyebrows as well. Okay, so she has got like almost black eyes really. Actually no, she's got dark brown eyes. She's got eyes a bit like our Max. So I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, they look good. They look good. It's between these two. We try and get another shot of the actress. I think her eyes are like that color. I do think they're about that color. Okay, she needs some eyelashes. That's what she needs. That's gonna help. Quite liking those ones on her. And then I think I've got skin details for like the under of her eyes and stuff. Let's give it a go because there's never quite as much skin details for like little kids, which kind of sucks. She always looks like perpetually tired. So I kind of feel like she definitely needs some skin details under her eyes. Kind of thinking these ones. I quite like those skin details as well. I think that is like, I just realized I've never even changed her skin tone. I'm gonna go, do I think, I think it's about right. I think she is a bit more like yellowy skin toned. She's obviously pale because she spent a whole, whole time in a lab. I quite like this because it's bringing out her nose. I'm sorry if this bit's boring, but I like, I like to be like really exact with this kind of thing. I am noticing that her lip shape's very wrong though. It's hard to get the right lip shape with this skin detail. I might have to put some like lipstick on her and then work from that way. Oh my God, I just put that on her though. And it looks so realistic. Oh, this is tough. <laughs> This is actually really tough. Kids are hard. Kids are like so hard. Oh my gosh. No. <laughs> Look, I thought I had the bump, the buzz cut. Because let me show you how this appears. Look, if you see it in there, it looks like it's flat. And then you put it on and it's actually yeah. No. I might have to do it in the blonde wig instead. Oh my god. So I literally like was searching all online for hair that was just like this and it's actually it, it doesn't look right like I just think that looks kind of garbage but I mean I've that <laughs> I kind of hate them all but it's really hard to find like the right hair for whatever reason people don't like making like buzz cuts for kids even though, you know, sometimes kids have buzz cuts. They don't have that. That's a little bit poofier, isn't it? I don't know which one to give her. She has, her forehead goes too big on the other one. That's the kind of tufty version, I guess. Uh, well, this is hard. Kids are hard. People, like, there's so much CC for toddlers. There's so much CC for adults. Oh, it'd have been cool with the hair like that, wouldn't it? But there's, like, no CC at all when it comes to children. Nobody cares about children. So I'm just gonna have to go ahead and give her that hair. Even though it's not, the colour isn't quite right. Like, I would do it way, like, less of a rich brown. But I think it's the best that we're gonna get. Okay, I'm just gonna play with the shape of our eyes a little bit. Just to get them a little bit more, like, like a levity. Okay. I think, I think we're on the right lines. It's kind of hard to tell. She's a bit of a tough cookie, you know? She is a bit of a tough cookie. Or at least I find her kind of tough. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave that for now because I could mess with that all day. I'm kind of like, I feel like she looks really boyish. <laughs> But I guess she's kind of meant to, that's the whole point. Because she's got like the shaved head, I don't know. Let's put the clothes on her. The clothes was another really tough one because uh, the dress, they did actually have a really cool Stranger Things dress. It was for teenagers. So I've got these two versions instead. That one kind of has a little bit of a collar. There's this version too, which could be a little bit more similar because she's got like the pink dress and it's got like the little, um, the little bits at the top. It actually looks a little bit different to all of these, which is sort of annoying, but what can you do? It's between that or that. Is that one too? That, that one could kind of work. That one's like the wrong way around. Otherwise, why is that one would have been quite good? I searched high and low as well for a denim jacket as an accessory. I don't think I came up with anything at all. Let me try that one. Let me see if I did manage to get an accessory. I think I've got like this coat instead. And then if I put that on blue, not that kind of blue though. It's sort of like that, I guess. Damn, it's so hard. Why you got to be so hard, Stranger Things? Why you got to be so young? That's the problem, you're so young. I think that's the most similar. <gasps> I don't know if I got high socks. Does it come with high socks? It comes with like these kind of socks. I don't know if hers go over her knee. Oh no, they don't, they don't go over her knee, but they've got stripes on them. So they're kind of a bit more like that, I guess. Okay, and then she just needs like some little sneakers. I guess the, that, that actually, it's not bad, you guys. It's not bad. Obviously, I'd say the hair is the biggest issue here, but I kind of, I'm kind of getting Stranger Thing vibes. Let me know if you think this, is that, is her whole head a little bit too big? What if I make her head a bit smaller? I think that's right, you guys. 
I think she's 11 -y. Okay, one last thing I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly change the skin details. Stay still, little girl, and see if any of the other ones work better. I'm sorry, I know I'm obsessing, because I kind of liked those skin details as well. So it's like those versus that, but that looks so much more realistic, doesn't it? Okay, guys, I'm gonna stop obsessing. I think she looks really good. I like her, and I think I know the clothes aren't perfect, but I still think to say that this is a kid and it's so hard to get good ki kid CC. I think we've done a pretty good job. And then I've given her the mental aspiration and the genius one, cause like she kind of does the whole mind control thing. So I think she's sort of like a genius. Let me know what you think. I think she looks pretty cool. As Jane 11 Hopper. I think it's kind of close. So we need to go and make the boys now as well. She's definitely got that like, she could break your mind with just her fist kind of vibe going on. Or flip a car over you and your friends on their bikes. Okay, so now on to the boys. Should we try Dustin next? Because this kid reminds me most of Dustin. Okay, let's get everything off first. And his body type as well. It's probably not too far off that, to be honest. He's a, li he's a little bit tubster, isn't he? Just a little bit tubster. And then the thing that actually makes Dustin is his, uh... <laughs> His teeth? But I don't think they've got quite dust in teeth, have they? I'll take out his middle teeth, just all the same, okay? I wonder how much stuff these guys will be in after Stranger Things. You kind of hope that they'll have quite a long career. They're all great little actors. Like, I'm literally blown away by that every time I watch it, because they're all so good. Literally so, so good. Okay, so he's got- his eyes are a lot further apart. And his nose- the whole thing isn't wide. It's more like just the end bit. So let's just widen out. I'm constrained by how far I can go on The Sims. And it's not all the way. It's not as wide as I would like to go. But I'd say his nose is kind of like that. Nostril's probably a little bit higher. Hopefully he's gonna be a little bit easier than old Eleven was. Widen out his mouth. His mouth's a little higher. He's actually got really, like, long ears. Can I make his ears longer? Long ears. They don't necessarily stick out loads, but they're just kind of long. I'm gonna widen out this bit of his face. Make his chin a little bit longer, too. It's hard because he's, like, a really weird colour at the moment. <laughs> Let's take off his hair as well. That might help. Okay. Now his eyes... He is like... He hasn't got eyelids, really. That sounds kind of weird, but he doesn't have eyelids. So I think his eyes are more, like, we'll start with that sort of a shape. And then let's have a nosy here. They are, like that kind of a shape. Make him a little bit longer on the edges. He's got he's got quite unusually shaped eyes, actually. They, he has some great lines as well, this kid. <laughs> he get, he actually gets all the best lines, doesn't he? Okay, I'm gonna make his little cheeks come out a little bit more, because I'm just looking at his side profile. His nose shape isn't like that at all, either. In fact, I think I need to use this. His nose curves upwards. I have, like, a little side profile thing that I, <laughs> I use to see how they should look from the side. That's the accuracy we're going for here, guys. I think we're getting that. I think we're getting on. I thought he would be really hard, but so far, so far I feel like we're doing quite a good job. I think that looks pretty good. I do think that looks quite like him. Hopefully, hopefully I'm not just like missing some big thing. I have got my, his little picture up at the side. Oh no, what's he just done to his eyes? Oh my god, there's a bug on this game that when you're zooming in, if you press something, the game just like ignores it, it when it comes to back. It just won't go back. So I have to like re-get his eye shape again. Okay, okay. Now let's give him some eyebrows because I think that's going to be the next one. He's got quite like, f like flickety eyebrows, not like that. I don't even know what I mean by flickety. I just mean there's like a lot to them. There's a lot of hair going on with the eyebrows and it's all kind of quite spread out. It's kind of on some pictures almost looking like he's got a bit of a monobrow. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Ooh, ooh, hello. We could be onto a winner with these eyebrows. They look quite like his eyebrows. Needs to flatten them out a little bit though. Okay, that could be one potential brow. Browage. That could be another though. That's quite similar too. Ooh, I'm scratching my wrist while I'm doing this and I'm actually really hurting them. Oh man, by the time I finish this, like, their face is gonna be burned into my brain, I swear to god. Got bluey greeny eyes. Kinda like that, but I prefer my style of, like, this kind of a style. Thinking those ones. I know it's a little bit different to the others, but they just look better. Okay! Skin detail time. This is how we get him looking right. Oh god, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, none of these are right at all. Especially not that one. No, I hate them. That suddenly turns into like Mike's sister. 
Okay, we're gonna have to think outside the box for this kid. Giving him some lower eyelids. Some nose shading. A little bit of eye shading. Oh, do you realize I've not looked at his lips? Which I think are more like that. He's tough, guys. I'm sorry. I'm spending a while again. I get sucked in so much. Because I'm not putting skin details on, I'm just layering him up instead. That's basically what's happening. I'm hoping this looks right. He's a tough cookie. He's got those lines here, but I don't actually think you can even apply those to kids. Only apply them to adults. <laughs> okay, this one's hair is also gonna be really hard because he's got like curls, hasn't he? I love his relationship with like Steve mom. <laughs> and their chit chat is so funny. I got this hair for him, but it's kind of scary, isn't it? Like I'm looking at it now and I feel like I'm a little afraid. He needs his little hat as well. That will, that will definitely help. Man, you guys made it hard when you said do stranger things. You've definitely made it super hard. I hope this hair is going to be hat compatible, actually. Let's have a look. It's got like a little... Oh, it is! Okay. He wears like a white baseball cap, doesn't he? Have we got like a little white one? It has to be like that. I can't do the blue edges because there was no like dusting cap. No dusting cap, I'm afraid. That one's kind of got the colored edges, but... Meh. I think we just keep it white like this. Problem with the hair is it doesn't come down the front, which is kind of annoying. It's weird because that one's not curly, but it actually looks more like his hair. Ah! Where's my actual curly hair? Game has curly hair, but I think it's only got it for like, uh, for toddlers, which is kind of super annoying. I'm just like putting stupid hair on him now because it's funny. I don't really want to give him clay hair, but that's probably the most similar to his actual hair. But I like the craziness of that one, but I don't get fringe with that one. It's stressing me out, you guys. <laughs> he's really smiles with his teeth. That's actually so funny. I think the face is right. But I don't think I can get a hair that looks right, I'm afraid, you guys. Okay, I'm gonna leave him with that hair for now, because I think, unfortunately, it is the most similar. But let me know what you think of the rest of him. Is it kind of looking the way you expected it to? I'm just gonna change his eyebrow colour a little bit now to match his new hair. Now, the clothes he wears, he kind of always wears, like, the... The jacket and the little bug pack. Sort of like this sort of a dealio. Can I... I, th I swear I downloaded a bug pack. Yeah, okay. So he's got like a little blue bug, not a strawberry bug pack. <laughs> oh my god, they're all quite girly, aren't they? He's just got like a plain old blue one. Oh wait, I could give him a coat like this instead. Okay, let me put that on him in like blue. And then let me just put, he's got a green t-shirt. And then he wears like, the, the trousers you only get in America. <laughs> I never see those trousers in England. Like the cord, what are they called? Not cords, slacks. Nah, I think they're right. And then just like some little plain old sneakers. Kind of like the ones he's got on from what I'm seeing. I'm kind of thinking that is the right sort of a look for him with his little backpack on as well. I think that's right. We've not given him his name. So he's Dustin Henderson. And his aspiration is definitely social. He's a proper like... He likes to make friends and he's a goofball as well. <laughs> so I think that is pretty close, hopefully, to little Dustin. I hope his head is the right size. Sometimes they don't say still when you do this and it makes it a bit hard. Okay, I'm gonna make his head just a little bit bigger. I I hopefully you guys think that looks like him. I think when he smiles and he's got the teeth, it kind of does. Smile again, Dustin, go on. There you go. I think it does kind of look like him. He was tough. He was definitely a tough little cookie. Go on, do your little uh, smile. What do you guys think? Do you think he looks like him? Let me know in the comments below. He is probably ridiculously hard because he's got a really weird shaped face and head. But I like him. I love all the characters on this show. Hopefully you think he is right. Okay, on to our final one, which is, let me get my pictures up of him. Mike Wheeler. Okay, and I've got a good just like picture of his face to start with. So that's definitely helpful. Let's take everything off. I'm gonna change his eyebrows just to uh, black because I think that's gonna make things a little bit more helpful. Okay, so he's got quite big eyelids. So we need to give the, the big eyelid build. Probably like that. Yeah, he's got big eyelids. And he's got little freckles across his face. He's such a cutie pie, isn't he? He's got big eyes, a little bit further apart. And his nose is definitely a little bit wider than that. I've got some good pictures of his side profile. What weirds me out is I'm looking at the pictures of him and he looks so much older. In my head, he's like such a little kid. But then he's kind of going all trendy, isn't he? I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this, like, urge to get kids looking a lot older than they actually are, like, so soon. Let them be, like, kids for a bit longer, you know? But then I guess when you're a kid, you don't want to be hearing that. <laughs> I'd love for the, uh, editor to be even more 
powerful. I'd like to be able to do like every single little thing. It'd be cool if they put that in the next one, just like as an option for freaks like me who like to go and do everything. Okay, I think we need to get his eyes right because it's quite hard until his eyes are right. And his eyes are the wrong color as well. His eyes are like black brown. They're like so dark. You know what? He like kind of looks like Will, not Mike. <laughs> I think I'm definitely drawing more from like season one. He's a lot old. He looks a lot older in the newer one. Is that age, aren't they? Where they're going to start like getting a lot older a lot quicker. Oh my God, it looks like Will. Why does it look so much like Will? <laughs> How have I done that? I've done something really wrong. If he looks more like the poor little kid that got taken. Okay, I think I'm starting to get there. He is a tough little cookaroony, you know? Also, I, I think he's far paler. Like, I think he's like, not, he's maybe not that pale. But he's a pretty, pretty pale kid. Maybe like that kind of paleness? As you can see, you guys, I'm finding him really hard. <laughs> I'm finding his eyebrows hard. I'm finding his face hard. Maybe if I put some hair on him, he's gonna come together a little bit. And I was kind of thinking this hair for him. Let's just see him compared to the other two. Okay, so that's 11. Stay still, honey, stay still. That's 11. I might just make her a little bit more innocent looking. And then we've got Dustin. <laughs> who looks kind of different because he doesn't have the skin detail, but none of them looked right. And then, okay, now he looks really pale. Maybe a little bit too pale now I've, done, now I've done the comparison. That's why you do comparisons, you guys. Give him a little bit more color, just like that. And then I need to give him some freckles. Okay, good. I was kind of worried that they weren't going to go over his skin. He's such a little cutie pie, isn't he? And he needs some eyelashes. He looks really Sims 3. <laughs> Sometimes I just create people and they look really Sims 3. See, I think he's got quite long eyelashes. That's what I'm noticing in all the pictures of him. I also don't think his lips are big enough. I think his lips are a little bit bigger than that. Like, Dustin looks kind of laughable now in comparison to them, <laughs> which is a little bit funny. Yeah, I was gonna do his eyebrows black, but they're really not that obvious. Like, his eyebrows are quite light. Okay, let's put some clothes on him and let's see if that helps, okay? And I did get him, like, a little jumper thing because it's kind of very, like, uh, it's all set in the 80s and he wears like a lot of um like shirts with collars on the uh, shirts we've got jumpers and collar kind of thing so i thought that looked quite like him it's also in this color but i kind of think i kind of feel like that that's a little bit more oh not that that's a little bit more 80s looking i'll see if a jacket can go on top but i don't think it will do with this outfit although it kind of does and he's got a little brown jacket like that oh i'm excited now you guys He's just kind of got little blue trousers on. Maybe just something like that. And then give him... I'm so glad I found that jacket. Jeez. Just give him his little sneakers. I don't know what to give him brown trousers. Brown trousers were like all the rage in the 80s, you guys. Even though they're really ugly. Although shows like this make those kind of clothes have a comeback, don't they? Okay, the thing is... So realistic and real looking. So realistic and real looking. Kinda derpy looking. <laughs> ah! But all the bases give him eyelids. And he doesn't have obvious eyelids. So it just ruins him. So I'm gonna leave them at that. I'm gonna leave them at that. I need to fill in Mike's details. Mike Wheeler. I would say he is... Um, he's creative because he's the one that like... Like comes up with all their Dungeons and Dragons stories. He's kind of a lot. He's all of these things. I'd say he's a lot of these things. He can be a little bit gloomy and a little bit hot-headed. But he's actually, like, a really good friend. Because he keeps searching for Eleven the whole time. I'm going to put him as good. Because yeah. <laughs> I think he's a good little sim. So, guys, we have Eleven as Jane Hopper. Here is, like, her little outfit. And here is how she looks close up. I hopefully think you guys will think that she looks right. The hair's a little bit annoying, but, guys. But what can I do? What can I do? And then we've got Dustin, who looks better from afar than he does up close. But at least he's got the teeth, you guys. He's got the little, the funny teeth that he had in season one. And then we've got Mike, who's probably my favorite. I actually think it does look quite like him. And I think his 80s clothes look pretty good as well. He needs, he also needs a backpack, but it's actually not going to work with that coat. So I won't, I won't. I'll leave it as it is. But I think he he's probably my favorite. Let me know what you guys thought of them in the comments below. Let me know if you guys have a favorite as well. And who your favorite is. Is it little cute Mike? Is it little cheeky Dustin? Or is it scary but also pretty damn amazing Eleven? Let me know who your favorite is in the comments below. And let me know if you want me to do any more Stranger Things characters. I was thinking of potentially doing some of the older characters if we do decide to do another one. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. And thank you for your suggestion to do Stranger Things. If you guys like this, 
Give it a little cheeky thumbs up. Share it if you've got any other Stranger Things fans. And I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.